This is solo leveling arise. Stick with me for a minute. If you've seen this, you are going to be just like I was. You're not going to know what this game is about. You're going to think it's one of those games where you go around open world, you hang glide, you climb up walls. You're doing all this hands-on action RPG. It's not like that at all. Think about a turn-based gotcha game or a gotcha game to where you go into a dungeon, you fight a boss for gear, you fight a boss for material to craft things, you go fight another boss for your guild boss to get those rewards, and you're fighting all these bosses, and you go into that instance, and you basically just hit auto. I've been playing very casual, just like that, to where I go in an instance, sure, it's an action RPG, and you can take control. You can play on the PC like I'm doing right now. It's beautiful with your keyboard or with your controller. I've been playing with my PS4 controller, but mainly I've been on the sofa on my tablet just hitting evasion when I need to hit evasion. I'll go to a gear farming dungeon and I'll have three keys or five keys. And instead of running it five times for that gear, I can run it one time and get five times the gear. And to do a lot of other stuff that we have to do daily, it's very quick and easy to do too. And I know some of you tryhards out there, you sweaty tryhards are saying, Stu, you got to take control. You got to make sure you maybe group some things up for some timed runs or you got to make sure that you're common combining your skills properly to get the most maximum damage i hear you and i know on the guild boss i've seen some people streaming the last few days that have done that there's these timed bosses that we fight that the quicker you kill the boss the higher on a leaderboard you'll be for rewards against other players in those instances, I will. I'll start doing better, but right now, I'm just enjoying the game because there's so much gear to farm, so many bosses and mechanics to learn, so many heroes with all their abilities. We don't just have four pieces of gear with a two-piece set bonus and a four-piece set bonus. We have eight pieces of gear with two different two-piece set bonus and four-piece set bonus, if that makes sense to you. It's not the standard four that you would normally have or the six. We've got four separate two piece and four piece bonus say say like the noble set or the toughness set then we've got accessories that has a two piece set and a four piece set with all different bosses which bosses that are weaker to different elements and all this kind of stuff i'm three starring the story mode you get tons of tickets to do summons with the story mode there's a hundred anniversary event going on right now where you can get a lot of great rewards and i'm sure after that event ends we'll get some more but this is where why I didn't play it a hundred days ago. I had no idea it was like this. I thought it was going to be more of a, I've got to play all day long and have, you know, you know, maximum concentration on this game and I can't do other stuff with it. I want something to where I can kind of just casually play it, put it in my pocket at times. Sure. When I'm running some dungeons and then when I need to be serious about it, I can be serious about it, but it's quick and fast. Jin Wu is the main character in Solo Leveling Arise. So we do certain content with him. And then these hunters, you'll pick three to go in to battle with him that fly out and do certain abilities. Or you have to go into content where it's only these hunters. And then you just have three of these hunters. And if you look at the top, you can see that there's light element, water element. We've got fire and wind and dark. So quite a few different elements that the boss will take additional damage from. These are all the different game modes we have. We'll dive into them in just a minute because there's a lot of different things that I still haven't unlocked in my six days of playing because I'm not strong enough. Every day you'll get stronger. As you bring up your main character's level, it'll also bring up all your other hunter's levels and you'll just get stronger as we go through this. We've got story mode, which gives us tons of summon tickets. We've got these gate mode that you come in here every day and just go through it to get some resources and get experience to level up your account. We've got hunter achievement, which is really just kind of story for each of the hunters. This isn't really a game mode. This is just to get additional resources whenever you get a new hunter. We've got this one where we get our gear and I've still got some other ones to unlock here. But if you look at this arachnid one, it takes additional damage from light heroes. And I've got some really good light heroes, so I've been able to push further in this. And these two right here with this flame fire dog are higher level than these two. Like these start out at very low level. So I'm able to beat level 10 on this one, but it's not going to give me as good gear as it is if I beat level 10 on this one. And this, I had some really good fire heroes to start off with, so I was doing really well in this. Now, this isn't with Jin Wu. This is with your three hunters. We'll go through some gameplay in a minute so you can see how awesome I am at this. Then we've got the 
other game mode here with the instance dungeon. This is to get the other four gear set pieces, like the accessory pieces. And I've only unlocked one of these so far, so I can only get these bracelets and these necklaces. Once I do chapter 12, which shouldn't be too far away, I'll be able to unlock those as well. And we've got the time battle. This is the battle where I said that you probably might want to take your time on this one. You will. You'll eventually get into the game like I am, and you'll want to take your time and really battle here to do well because you're competing against other players for rewards, for a leaderboard, to do to kill these bosses as quickly as you can. So you're going to then fine-tune your weapons, your team combinations, all the gear you have to make sure that it's leveled up because my gear is nowhere near leveled up. And then you've got Battlefield of Trials, which... It's like a tower mode. One side is for Jin Wu and his three hunters, and then the other side is just for the three hunters. Of course, with the summons, you got a pity system, so after a while, you're going to get a guaranteed SSR, and these let you select a weapon and hero to have a higher chance to get these. And I've gotten quite a few. I've gotten her two times, her two times, which you can see they say popular. We'll talk about a tier list and all that in another video because there's a really good website for that. This weapon's supposed to be amazing for the guild boss. It gives buffs and debuffs or something. And then this weapon is a universal weapon that's been really good, this sword. And I did get lucky and get that sword. I feel like my account's been pretty lucky with what I've summoned so far. And this guy's supposed to be really good too. And I only did 20 summons on him with the free tickets I got. And we got him. So free to play. I've not spent any money on this yet. Now, I'm not going to swear I'm going to be free to play, but I am going to start a guild. Join my Discord down below. Come over to the guild. You had to be level 40 to do a guild. I just hit level 40, and now I'm on a 24-hour cooldown because I just tried to create it, and I can't even create it to give you a name yet, but join my Discord. I feel like I'm doing okay with the gear. I'm only at 15. Every time you level up a piece of gear, you do increase the enhance rate. So 20% chance for me to pass here and enhance it to the next level. But every time I fail, it will bring it up. Well, I pass there. So it'll bring it up to 21%, 22%, 23%. I like that. And there is a gold cost for taking gear off your heroes and putting it on another hero. But during the weekend, or at least during this last weekend, it was free. I don't know if they do that every weekend or one weekend a month. But either way, it's really cool. We did that back in the day with another game, and it worked out really well for you to be able to try things out during that free weekend to change around gear and to make some really cool teams. So I'm leveling up gear. I'm getting this. They don't have the same stats. Like these helmets have different stats. We've got HP, HP percentage, defense, defense percentage, attack, critical damage on some of them. We can actually filter through here and see what all the different ones are if we look at the main stats. And for these, these are the additional, these are the main stats that a helmet can have. Now, I really like this about the heroes. The heroes aren't all about just having additional damage based off of attack. They are, like with this guy, this old dude I just got, which is really seems really strong. He is doing damage based off of defense. Defense here, user's defense. You can see all his skills doing damage based off of defense. This lady does damage based off of attack. This one based off of attack as well this one based off of max hp and then this guy does healing based off of max hp a lot of cool stuff different wardrobes if you want to turn these girls into some sweet bikinis that i don't have right now i think i've seen people do that i don't know if it's in game play bikini or maybe just like on your main screen here when you're running around you can have your person in a bikini but i have seen them there are a lot of different costumes in here which i like then we've got jin Wu, where he's got even more things to equip we've got runes that we craft we of course go farm the fragments to craft this but we far we craft these runes and it enhances our abilities so there's certain abilities we're going to use with this guy depending on what situation we're fighting and we'll do videos on that we will definitely do videos because there's a lot like in the beginning like any game you got to learn a lot of stuff and that's the fun thing about it learning all the mechanics learning all the abilities all the heroes all the combinations of things we can use, that's the greatest thing about it. You can see break here and the damage it does. And then the ultimate ability. There's two different ultimate abilities that I have right now. And then weapons that I'm equipped on him. Two different weapons that I currently have equipped on Jin Wu. And we have Army of Shadows. So we're leveling up this. This unlocks as you play. This is a skill that you have while you're playing that you can put it on auto and it will just cast. And they call out this Shadow Army of Shadows. I can upgrade this soon. I'm at 77 to 100. So I don't know if I'm gonna unlock this guy, Iron, a Bear, or a Blade. 
because they just come out for a while and do some serious damage. So we'll look into all of this. There's a lot of things you got to get into and learn from this. And there's events going on all the time. There's a 100-day event happening right now that's going to end soon in eight days. But if you start playing this game in five days, it only took me five days to get 50 free summons from this, plus a lot of other rewards. So jump in. Before we go, there's a new program for content creators and for viewers that want to support me or support any content creators that are out there. If you come over to this webpage, I'll leave a link to it down below. If you create content yourself from August 28th to September the 10th, you can be part of this participation here to get first place, second place, third place, and a participation point rewards. And if you want to get additional benefits from people who watch you, you can also have them become a viewer, a supporter is what it's called here. And when they do in-game purchases, we get a small portion of it. Now, it doesn't change the cost of what you're paying for. You're still paying the same cost. It doesn't change any of that. All that does is support the content creator. And you can come over to this one and read all about it, how it supports them, all you how to link up everything so that you will pick like Stu Gaming. And of course, I'll leave all this down below so you can pick me if you want to. And again, if you're your own content creator, you can make a video like it says here by September the 10th, submit it, talk about the creator in program just like i'm doing right now introduce solo leveling arise and it's got to follow in these criteria for youtube telegram if you're going to do it there x or reddit and then talk about basically just talk like i'm doing right now about supporters because i think this is really cool you out there can support me and it changes nothing it just helps me out which i think is amazing every game should do this but all the details are right here. And you can see where you'll fall in social media account owner, more than 5,000 subscribers. You can get even more and more rewards depending on what your channel is, how big it is, and other criteria down here. So you can read all through this. This is really cool. If you have any questions about this, join my Discord. I will be more than happy to help you sign up as a supporter. And if you are a content creator, help you out with what you're doing right here if you just wanna make a video and try to get some supporters yourself. Thanks so much for watching. All the links will be down below. Come over and join me in Discord, download the game, come and join me in solo leveling Arise. I will see you all in a video soon.